Have you just discovered HEMA? You want to get involved, you want to start training, you want to start fighting with swords, you just want to have at it, but you have no idea how? We'll find out today on The HEMA Dad. Roll the intro! <laughs> so, you've just discovered HEMA. It looks amazing. We all thought the same thing whenever we got started. I first discovered HEMA while uh, browsing through YouTube at like 3 or 4 in the morning. Changed my life. But, there were no... There was no guide for somebody to just get started. At least one that wasn't easily accessible. And that's the point of today's video. We're going to be going over a couple of things as far as the steps to finding a club. What you're going to need day one. What you're going to be needing as your training goes on and also what to do if you're just in an area where no club exists. So, if you're ready to get started, scroll down below, comment, let's roll, and let's get right to it. For anyone to truly get the best HEMA experience, it's best done at an actual HEMA club. Now, the easiest way to find the nearest HEMA club to you is to use the HEMA Club Finder. The link for that's gonna be down below. All you have to do is enter in your address and it'll pull up all the HEMA clubs that are within your area. The best part is, it gives you the you know, the website, email, phone number, any the, everything that you need to reach out to that club and you know pretty much arrange to come in for a class can all be done one-stop shop for your convenience. It's a great tool. We found them! Fantastic! You found them! You found a nearby HEMA club, you've reached out to the, the head of it, and you've arranged to, make, to start a class. Awesome! It's going to be a great experience for you, I hope. So, you're probably wondering, HEMA Dad, what do I need the day of? That's simple. Just you. Don't buy any gear. They're going to have loaner gear available for you to try out. Also, make sure that you have comfortable athletic apparel. You're gonna be doing a lot of moving around. It's gonna be a very, it could be very rigorous, very high intensity. So make sure you have comfortable athletic apparel. Do not wear jeans. Don't be that person. And also make sure that you have plenty of water. It's a martial art. You have to make sure that you're staying hydrated at all times. And that's what I call a quality eight tool. Now, when you actually get to the club the day of, there's a couple ground rules, just general, you know, common sense things that everyone should know. You should always be respectful, not only towards the um, martial artists that you're going to be training with, but it's also very important to be respectful towards the assistant instructors and the senior instructors of that club. These guys have been doing this for a very long time. Some instructors have been studying, teaching, and competing for over two decades. So always make sure that you are polite that you ask questions, and most importantly, then, that you are humble. There's one thing martial artists cannot stand. It's some newbie who has no idea what the hell they're doing, acting like they're all that. Don't be that person. Wheel snipe, Sally, boys. Dirty fucking dangles, boys. Actually, you know what? I lied. There is one thing that you definitely should grab and have on when you train anytime you're doing HEMA. If you're a guy, you need to have a cup. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You need a cup. All right, you've had your first class. It was awesome, you had a great time. You got to hold a sword. You got to hit other people with swords. People with swords hit you. It's amazing, I know, I know. So, moving forward, you're probably gonna be thinking, what else do I need right now? So, the number one thing you should do is consult with your instructors and the more experienced fighters at your new club. They have had the chance to try on different kit, they have pressure tested it in sparring and in tournament. They are going to be your best resource as to what gear you should get and what gear you should pass up on. Now a lot of this gear can be purchased at a couple places. If you live in the United States or in Canada, you can uh, purchase HEMA gear at uh, Purple Heart Armory. The link for that's gonna be down below. If you are, uh, another place that you can look at is hemasupplies.com, link will be down below. One of my personal places to get HEMA gear is from Superior Fencing, the link will be down below. 
There's a whole bunch of different manufacturers out there and vendors. The selection has never been better than it is right now. So these are some options that you're... Now, for those of you who do not have a local HEMA club that you can just drive to every week, you're in the same boat that I was in a couple years ago. When I first got involved in HEMA, nobody was doing longsword where I was. And so you have a couple of options. You can uh, find a club that you, you know, connect with. And every now and again, you can commute out there whenever you have the opportunity. Or you can do what I did. I wanted to do longsword. There is no longsword club here. So you can always step up like I did and start your own club. Now, this has its own unique set of challenges, which are completely unlike getting into HEMA whatsoever. So that's going to be the topic of another video. If you are a club leader who did the same thing that I did, that you started up your own club, you filled a niche that didn't that wasn't being taken care of at the time. We would love to hear your story. So if you you know if you want to share your story, comment down below. I'm sure that. It could be of great benefit to anyone who's listening and the situation applies to them. There's a lot of things that go into starting up a club. Everything from you know, really get learning the sources, finding a place, insurance, all that jazz. Again, we're gonna cover that in another video. If there's anything in here that I've covered that you think could use a little bit more detail or something that I may have missed, uh, by all means, comment down below share your perspective, share your insights. Anyone who's seen this that wants to get involved in HEMA but doesn't know how to, it's gonna be a great value to them. And in the future, we're gonna be having special guests on uh, the HEMA Dad, people who are more, some of the more prominent members of the community. We're gonna be sharing their insight, their experiences, and their perspective on HEMA today. All right, you now have the information, the resources, everything that you need to get started with HEMA. I'm super excited for you. I want to hear your stories as they develop. So, after your first couple classes, after hell, even after your first class, comment below. Let us know how your experience went. We cannot wait to hear from you. Until next time, I am the Hema Dad.